Welcome back Turtle Whisperers and in today's video we're going to be talking about what substrate is best for your turtles, so stay tuned. Okay, so what is substrate? Now substrate, if you don't know, is the material that you put on the bottom of your tank, such as sand, gravel, aquarium soil, bare bottom, which I guess isn't a substrate. Before I go any further, okay guys, first of all, I'm just gonna say do not put gravel in your turtle tank, okay? It's all right for fish, just don't put it in a turtle tank, okay? Because you have plenty of gravel that looks like food along the floor that can fit in their mouths, okay? The first thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna try and eat it and they're gonna choke on it and that could be absolutely fatal, so just, I'm not gonna speak about it much, just no gravel in the tank, okay? It may look nice, you might like the light, different kind of rainbow coloured gravel you can get. Just, just don't do it, okay? Okay, think of your turtle's health. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is having a bare floor tank. Okay, so absolutely nothing along the bottom of your tank. Okay, so no sand or anything like that. Just plain, just, essentially it's just a glass bottom. And there's actually quite a few benefits to this. The absolute main benefit of having a bare bottom tank is it's so easy to keep clean. Now, if you're not too bothered about the aesthetics of your tank, like you're not too bothered about the look, you just want a nice easy environment, okay, bare bottom is possibly one of the best things you can you can do because literally you can see all the muck at the bottom and we all know turtles are messy animals, so literally you can just get your net straight in, fish out all the rubbish, get rid of it, done. Okay, it's so much easier to clean. But then again, it doesn't look as nice and it's not got that kind of natural feel that they would have in the wild, but it's easier for us. Another benefit is, of course, it's cheap. It doesn't cost you anything because you're not putting anything in. The next substrate we're gonna talk about is sand. Now sand is my personal favorite. It's aesthetically pleasing. And you can get it in a range of colours such as black sand, but it's not just a good, good substrate because it looks good. It does actually have a few minor health benefits. Firstly, it can help file down the turtle's nails, okay, if they're getting too long. It just kind of just like grinds against the sand, wears them down a little bit, which can be useful. But also, when um, turtles burrow in the sand, it can relieve stress. And this is crucial for turtle species such as Soft shell, soft shell species, which is uh, Chinese soft shells, Florida soft, soft shells, sorry. And it's what I would personally recommend. Okay, it's a bit harder to clean than a bare bottom tank, but it looks good, natural feel, like we've said. Okay, and your turtles will absolutely love to burrow in it. The last, last um, substrate we're gonna talk about is river rock. Now I don't actually have any tanks with river rock in them so I can't show you any of mine with it but I'll try to get some pictures and post them up so you can see them right now. And uh, basically what it is, is it's just pebbles that are too big to fit in your turtle's mouth, okay? They do look quite nice in the ta tank, they look natural, okay? They look great without the risk of having your turtle choke or anything like that, okay? So that's a huge benefit. Also, it doesn't clog the filter up Sand can sometimes clog a filter up, okay, and wear your filter down a little bit. You don't want that, but it's just another benefit of river rock. The only problem with river rock is it can like hide a lot of waste, like in the little cracks and crevices, okay, and that can make your turtle water quite dirty quite quick, which would mean you need to clean your water more often. But again, if you, if you're into all the aesthetics, then definitely think of sand and river rock just know that you might have to clean your tank a bit more often. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've got something out of it. Let me know what you use for your turtle tanks, okay? So I've only stated three or four substrates here. There's probably more like the aquarium soil, but I don't have any experience with that, so I can't talk on it. But let me know what you guys do. And um, yeah, we have to get a group chat going soon. I'd love to see pictures of all your enclosures, turtle tanks and all that. And yeah, I'll see you next time guys.